Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 23, and this is war number one, and we're going up against an alliance called DSM Raiders. Now, this is also the first war uh, that I will be participating in in my new alliance. All right, so I scouted out my path. By the way, uh, they had a nice little uh, sign-up sheet for the paths, and of course, I stuck to the rivers and the lakes that I'm used to. Uh, oh, left eye, gone too soon. Anyway, I chose path one. Uh, the path three, I believe, was already taken, and path two, it looked like it was taken as well. Uh, but the person assigned to path two hadn't joined, okay? So you're gonna see that uh, some fights had to be taken noted, or we were gonna go far, far behind. All right, so this first fight is Gladiator Hulk. Now, if you've watched my war videos, you know that I fought Gladiator Hulk on this node before and got wrecked. So this time I'm staying away from him. You see how the regen and he was unblockable. I'm not getting caught out by trying to do that initial parry. Okay, so I waited that out. I'm in the corner, but that's okay. Boom, boom, boom. We've got Nick Fury. Uh, I really want Nick Fury as a six star awaken. Uh, he is just such an awesome uh, war attacker. He is my MVP for Alliance War because they keep choosing stubborn and Nick Fury got the answer for that stubborn. All right, so down went Gladiator Hulk without too much difficulty. Nick Fury has a little bit of life uh, taken from him, but I also run suicides. So, uh, some of that uh, damage is just from the suicides, okay? Uh, next up, we've got Mephisto. All right, now Mephisto, he, when he first came out, he was really, really, really annoying. Uh, he seemed to get Incinerate Aura up, like, every single hit. Uh, it was terrible. It was terrible. I don't remember if that was his ability or the node, um, and we didn't have good counters for it either. Uh, so, I'm going in uh, with, of course, my MVP, Nick Fury. Now, I could have also gone in with Black Widow Clairvoyant. She could also do this fight just fine. Uh, cycle through, get to her incinerate uh, curse where she is immune to incinerate, and then just go. That's also her damage phase. That's where she does a lot of her damage. So... Definitely had uh, multiple counters for this guy. If by some reason Nick Fury fell, she could definitely uh, finish up. But we're not trying to get Nick Fury down. Okay? So he got his uh, regeneration phase, Mephisto did. Uh, and so he's on the ropes. And now he's asleep. Mephisto fell asleep. Nick Fury put him to bed. So that's it for path one. Not too difficult at all. Um, of course, we were waiting for path two to be cleared at this point. Uh, but uh, I don't know what they had going on. I think uh, the holidays and, and they got really busy. Uh, so as you can see, uh, my alliance mate, uh, Lahook, uh, took that fight noted. So I'm like, wow, okay. This is my first war with them. You know, I want to try and make a good impression. So uh, we go up here to section two. Uh, you can see I didn't get to take that uh, mini uh, before section two. But I'm going on to path one. Now, I remember when I first tried path one, I got wrecked. I did not have good options for path one. Uh, that is different now, of course. Uh, my roster and the champions that I have ranked up, I can take path one. Uh, I could bring Void, you know, uh, Nick Fury works, um, Black Widow Clairvoyant also works. Uh, so I'm boosting up. The only reason that I wouldn't boost up is because I forgot. Um, because I have these always in my inventory. We get tons of them. So... There's no reason other than I just forget sometimes. All right, so 
Here we go. And of course, uh, Nick Fury is just putting a whole bunch of bleeds on him. Now, the one annoying thing with the stubborn is that when they get that indestructible, uh, they get rid of all their debuffs. But Nick Fury puts a destructible charge on them. That's uh, the attack tactic. And so that manages it just fine. And as you see, we had no problems fighting Blade. Uh, Blade used to be a very annoying defender. I remember back in the day, it's been a while, uh, they had him on a power gain node and it was a bleed node off to the right. And I I tried to take it with, um, I think, Corvus. And uh, Corvus can do it, but you had to be really careful. And I remember getting wrecked the first time I tried it. All right, so next up, we've got Darkhawk. Now, Darkhawk can be tricky to fight. Uh, if you knock Darkhawk down, he will go into his shield mode and you will get auto-blocked if you try to fight him when he's not stunned. And not only that, but you will get parried more than likely and just uh, stunned. So what you saw me doing here early is I was parrying so that I could get the infection up faster. When you parry, you get the uh, charges built up quicker. So I was doing that. Once he's infected, he's not gonna be getting all of that regen because you'll notice that he regens a lot, okay? Um, and on that node, you don't want that. All right, so I did that, knew I was gonna be able to take him out, hoping I was gonna be able to take him out, and we got to take him out with our special. That's the only reason that I did that. Uh, otherwise, I could have still handled it if he came up with 1%, which they still haven't acknowledged as a bug. Uh, that 1% thing, uh, I would have just parried and just hit him while he was stunned until the uh, shield mode was down. Okay? So now, remember what I said? Lahook here. Um, or is it Larhook? Uh, but he... Yeah, Lahook. There we go. Lahook. I don't know how to pronounce that. Still new, still new, still getting to know everybody's names. Uh, but he took that node, uh, that fight in uh, section one noted. So I didn't want to be outdone. So you can see here the uh, buffs that I'm having to deal with and the linked ones. Guess what? None of that matters. You know, the sting, the, the stung twice. Uh, it's all about how you play. And if you fight with someone who doesn't really rely on specials, perfect. Well, Nick Fury is a great um, Human Torch counter because when he's bleeding, he's not gonna be getting that um, uh, uh, temperature up, all right? And as you can see here, I just decided to block all of that. Um, but you can see his temperature is nice and low and uh, he's just going down. Noted, doesn't matter. Nick Fury, MVP. Just tore Human Torch up. Uh, Nick Fury is just a beautiful counter for Human Torch. All right, so took that fight, noted. Felt a little good about myself. All right, and I believe that was the final fight that I had in this war. All right, so you see here, and I want to... Uh, try and give you what I was thinking because I didn't get a chance to uh, do it. Um, but you see that Killmonger up there. Um, we've got a Moda, uh, Mojo boss. Uh, I do not want to mess with that Black Widow Deadly Origins. Uh, you really want to have someone that has a good counter or is uh, very skilled at uh, fighting, you know, that shifting immunity Ah, uh, that thing is very, really annoying. So at this point, I'm thinking to go to the right path. All right, that thing, I've already tested out fighting that node with Nick Fury. Now, I do better now because I'm a little bit more used to the node, but I'm still wary of that particular fight. Uh, Nick Fury, of course, is stun immune when he gets uh, to his, you know, the real Nick Fury. Um, and so you can parry and don't have to worry about, 
you know, anything like that. But I would still prefer someone else that is a little bit better, that has a better counter, take that fight. But if I'm asked, I'm ready. But that Domino, that's who I wanted to uh, tear up with my uh, Warlock. Definitely wanted to tear up that Domino. All right. But didn't get a chance. Uh, they cleared everything. And uh, when I came back to look, you know, they had already handled everything. Uh, this alliance does very laid back uh, wars, which I like, but they still get stuff done. Uh, now, that path two didn't end up getting cleared. So uh, now let's uh, take a little bit of an intermission and we'll be back and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. First war of the season is a win. Uh, we got all three of our bosses down. Uh, it looks like we have the same policy as my previous alliance, that we get the bosses down no matter what. Uh, even if we see that it's a loss, we still want to get those points. And maybe we'll end up in Platinum 4. Uh, I don't know if we're trying to get Platinum or Platinum 3. Like I said, it's really laid back. Uh, but we'll see. I'm enjoying the laid back atmosphere. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching this video. Feel free to hit that like if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.